This poem is titled Gaza All Over the World. There is no survival. There is no escape. There is no survival. There is no escape. Your house was destroyed. Your money was stolen. Your family is scattered and likely dead, killed in the name of peace. No one watches out for you except the drones overhead. Three wars in the last five years waged against you and always only your people die. This is the story of Gaza. There is no survival. There is no escape. Now, I know this is a poem, but it has a refrain. I want you to say it with me. Mm -hmm. There is no survival. There is no escape. The story of Gaza is the story of Yemen. Arabic planes drop American bombs on a nation already destroyed. Rockets split bones like the wood that you used to collect before forests burned. Crops withered, lakes drained, sand became the only natural form of precipitation. You cannot remember the last time you met someone who'd eaten that day. Your people have no future. You try to leave, yet they stop you. There, there is, is no survival. survival. There, there is, is no, no escape. escape. The story of Gaza is the story of the Philippines. Red is the new black here because the administration has banned the color orange as blood runs in the streets. You trust no one as anyone could kill you. You love no one as anyone could die. The Americans, Hungarians, and Brazilians squabble over immigration, but they don't understand. You try to warn them on Facebook, but the administration cuts your connection. You try to call them, but they tell you they already have Comcast and hang up. And then, a knock on the door. There is no survival. There is no escape. The story of Gaza is the story of Honduras. They kill your presidents, send you their criminals, and buy your drugs. At some level, they must know they are at war with themselves. But in this war, you do the dying. Berta, Emmanuel, Yerlin, Imas, Imas, Imas. And so you walk for hours, weeks, and years without food, without family, hoping against hope that you can one day become the nation that took yours away. There is no survival. There is no escape. No one leaves what Americans call the strip. Every few months, the soldiers and tanks will enter. But no one leaves what Americans call the strip. Surrounded, besieged, helpless, Unable to feed yourself. If you're dead anyway, then you might as well fight. If you're dead anyway, then you might as well fight. There is no survival. There is no escape. In Gaza, the wall keeps you in. But in America, it keeps them out. As Gaza City, Reynosa, Tijuana, and Tripoli become less and less distinguishable. Bodies piled up along fences and waterways as the thousands still alive quietly wait their turn. And as Gaza City becomes Raqqa, Hodeida, Rakhine, Ocheti Sakhalin, and Port-au-Prince, and as Israel prepares to invade again. There is no survival. There is no escape. The story of Gaza is really the story of Earth. No one leaves the strip, just as no one will ever leave our ball of rock in salty water. If we're dead anyway, then we might as well fight. But are we dead, or just lost in a sea of the death we've created? As the Palestinians embrace nonviolence, surely we are not as dead as them. Well, there is no place like home. <laughs>